if this guy was to rebox over this way, he would now get sprayed by this kid, and then like potentially some of these kids over here, you know? If he used to rebox over this way, then he'd get sprayed out by these people on this side, you know? Obviously, there's loads of builds. But obviously, you set up so you can't get hit by the people, but you also do it so you have a... You have like a team spray situation in solos. Like fighting at this point is all about teamwork with other people, you know? Does that make sense? Nice. This is very good though. He's not he's not milking himself right now. It's very easy at this point to get too eager on W King, you know? Um, and then you'd you leave the game with 13 kills but only 17 points, you know. You still have to get most of the placement here. You see how he's not he's not doing anything dumb. He's not instant editing, he's not letting this guy get in his face with an SMG. He's just simply going for like nice pre-fire shots, nice little bottom right edits. Now he's finally trying to jump in. But he, even though like he's not he's not throwing his game trying to kill this kid, you know? Instead he's more focused on making it to end game, not just completely throwing. Nice. Now he's gonna land on height. The kid on height has no awareness, isn't looking. That kid's just being paced. That's an unfortunate way to go, in it? Just chilling on the eye ground again. Full pace. Alright, lovely stuff. Okay, this should be a pretty free high ground game from here. He's got two pads, he's got cat mats. We can just skip through this, you know. You boys should know how to play high in solos. I mean, it's 11 movement as well. It's not really that difficult. And no one's got a pad. Gets up to ultimate, so don't be pads up. Gets cut out the air. Some kid does land backside, so he just pads forward. Let's go. Okay, just got pieced. How does he lose this, is the question. I reckon one of these kids alive is going to get like loads of mats. There's no way the kid on low has more mats than him, though. He loses out on that kill. Okay, he has height almost taken from him. Oh, this kid's fairly stacked, to be fair. Yeah, he just loses height. And then he's gonna have to go through a lot of mats. Never mind, pads. That's nice. He didn't lose. I think he got second, no? Or am I done? Yeah, this other guy's trying to load the mats. I don't know how this guy's got that many mats. The loads went for a lot, like. I used the zero belts, okay. Yeah, okay. That's a, that's a bit... And he misses that pump there. If he, if he gets that pump there, then he probably wins. I just thought, yeah. In a final 1v1, it's just the guy on low oftentimes. Um, this is what happened to... Veno last week in opens is... There's no way he loses this. Sad. <laughs> 7 HP. That's a bit, that's a bit unfortunate. Controller player with the jump shotgun and the SMG whipped out. Let's cut the air. Lovely stuff. This is why Org is so, I don't know, Org is only really good for like beaming people and then kills that they are on 50 50. Apart from that, it's basically useless, I think, in solos. Obviously, in duos, you need it for search, but in solos, I would much rather that he, even that kill there, it's not really worth that. Like, it's one point, you know? But you can definitely get more points more consistently just by running whites. Like Med Mist, I'd say it's better than all, 100%. And then like two, three floppers as well. It's way better. Alright. He's gonna wait. Could have padded a bit more last second, I think. He probably just don't want to get like pumped or something. Um, or tank Storm at all. So he pads relatively early, which is fine. Alright, he's gonna double pad first moving. Nice. I like how he landed left there to just be a more chill. That's a nice mid-ground layer. Box up. Doesn't go for anything straight away, does he? His mats are a pretty shambles, but... <laughs> that 
kid doesn't get that kid does not get out of the car once. He just just keeps on going in the car. What a trooper? Right, spawns place the pad from. I right, see. This is why you want whites, just so you can like do more casual plays like that. All right, lovely little landing. It's the max as well. All right, let's turn Jamal from that. That was a really nice play. I don't know, was that landing on height a good play? Not really. He landed um he landed full full backside. She's not really there. Why the fuck is Young Gamer 2007? Young Gamer 2007 is 15 years old. Do you know how crazy that is? Like what? This is a really nice play. This is a really, really good play. Look. Tax running behind height. This kid 100% has visual sound effects on and there's like 50 different footsteps, 22 different footsteps all around him, you know? He walks right into the piece as well. Nice, that's what I played. Gets up straight away. Got Joe hitting the PG versus him. Joe got good mats. Alright, right, now he's up on height. He's just gonna. It's very second height. Pretty simple stuff. Also waits for zone to switch. Before the when zone switches, he doesn't go down straight away. He waits for like a second, lets Dom catch up with him, just so he makes sure he doesn't get. Um, as a thing in solos, especially on third moving, right? Well, let's say you're here, right? And zone switches and it goes far. Imagine you just started instantly tapping front side. What could happen is just one of these guys could sneak up and be like behind you, um, and then they could easily just flank kite. And it's, it's very hard to counter, especially if you're like here because you just can't see right below you when you start tapping over. It's very, very hard to counter. So he waits a few seconds and then pressures the extra people below him, you know? Can we get that? that was a nice beam. That was a really good play. When he's getting shot out there, just goes to counter damage. Just forces that guy to jump. I knew that was going to happen. You can never pop a big on high. Like, in solos, if you pop a big on high, it's just you get landed on or something. You know? Good play to aggro that guy. That guy was just full sending it. Nice at this point. Force that guy to drop. It's good here. Seven builds left. He's just gonna make sure he yeah. He you see how he double checks everything in storms to make sure there's no one there, right? He should double check back again. Doesn't quite. There's no way he loses this, right? Unless it goes to heal off, which it never really does in solos. No way. It loses this. What do you mean, sound effects? Yeah, yeah. Vis like, visual sound effects endgame, I think, are really, like, cluttered and just take up too much of your space. Yeah. Well played, though. That was good. You see there, um, as the last guy was fighting here, he didn't he didn't wait. He just jumped down and made sure. He didn't want to, like, have a situation happen in the first game where the guy gets all the mats from the kill. Like this moon guy, the moon guy gets the kill and he just commits down straight away because otherwise, otherwise he gets all that siphon and he's got med miss and it's just difficult to win at that point, you know. Good landing spot as well, pretty safe. Box up on metal. Gotta chill for a sec. That was a nice rotate. Right, that the jumping thing is is so good for solo. It's like unbelievably good. Nice. High prime second moving. He, he doubles back there so he's not floating front side and he's also looking for someone else's pad. Which is a good play. Yeah. Nice play, man. Really, really good play. Mate, he's hit the f quad dip. Like, think, think of how many mats he's just saved by doing that, you know? So he's boxing up with 800 builds at this point. Or 800 mats. Which in solos is really. If you look at everyone else's mats, four. That guy's pretty stacked. You just got a refresh though. Um, these kids are all on cards. Like pretty much everyone on mid ground, he's very stacked compared to. Which, why are these kids all so stacked? What's on earth? Yeah, like he, he's relatively stacked compared to most people in this lobby. He's pretty, uh, 
pretty stacked outside the carcass. But the thing is, the kids who play cards, they just get out cards. It's like, do you go to them at ballers from World Cup, right? Like, you kill a baller, and they'd be sitting, like, driving around on the ball for, like, 20 minutes of the game, you know? And then you kill them, and they're just the worst players ever. It's like a little llama. Like, I'm not trolling. This is a strat in World Cup where you just, you just try jumping. You shoot a baller out, and then just jump in the guy's box, because you couldn't hit him shot, because he, he wasn't warmed up at all. Because he just been bouncing around. Sneak kite play. I always, what is this called? Needs to be a word for it. It's a hype. See, hype pop in the big is just wraps. Gets the pump, gets the cone. Now he's only on wood, he double layers. Which makes it a lot harder to get chopped out. He's also constantly check you know, he's, he's constantly checking this and making and looking for it like see if someone's popping uh Floppers or something, you know? Nice. Constantly spraying second high. I don't know, it's, just, it's kind of difficult for him to get a kill here because he's just. It's just very hard to get a killer because he can't he can't drop down for anything unless he just gets a lucky SMG beam, but this is high low, so everyone is just uh chilling up on that yeah. And so is all his maps here, which is nice. Like he's just trying to play heal here. Uh, if he's smart, so he needs to have enough builds to make sure he can actually run back and storm and stuff later and cover himself. That's what I played. Already got the damage on the guy. Kills the guy on the ground, and then he just drops down and gets stitched to whites. 100% guaranteed win 